in order to ignore certain files in your repository in github desktop there are three options first one is manually add folders and files to dot git ignore file from github desktop changes section second is to edit the dot git ignore file using github desktop repository settings both are handy and there is another way you can manually edit the dot git ignore file from any editor it is not github desktop specific though but you can use that if required these options are handy in different scenarios i will go through two specific scenarios where i will show which option to use so let me start with the first scenario in scenario one from github desktop first you create a new repository the local repository of folder and then the development is started so here from github desktop we click and create a new repository we add a folder over there and then in that folder automatically the dot git folder is created so it is a track repository and then you start adding changes on top of that so let's see hands on how this one works suppose i have a project sample project 1 this is my project folder i'm going to develop one react js application over here so first i'll add this as my local repository i go to github desktop file add local repository choose that directory so this is my project sample project 1 select folder now this directory does not appear to be a git repository would you like to create a repository definitely click on this create repository now if i go to that particular directory here you can see over here dot git this folder is created this is the local git repo and dot git attributes this file is added now Assuming I'm going to make some development over here using my ID. I won't write the code here, but I'll paste some code which is ReactJS specific. So here I have copied and pasted sample ReactJS code into this particular directory. If I go to VS Code over here, you can see this is the folder structure that we have. Now out of this, this node underscore modules, this is not required. I want to ignore this. Rest, I'm okay. If I go to GitHub desktop now, we can see there are multiple files which we don't need so to ignore them one blunt way would be like select all of them and then right click and ignore the selected files but in this case it won't be a good option rather what i can do i can select one particular file right click on top of it and select ignore folder here i can mention this top level folder rather than the internal dot bin if i do this then I have that node underscore module folder gone. If I go to history, one thing to notice here, initial commit is there, which actually committed this dot git attributes. So on top of that, I'll make one commit where everything would be pushed over here. Commit to main. Now in history, I have two commits. Let me publish this repository. From here, I can publish. I can publish from here also, or from repository, I can push. Anyways, let me use this publish repository keeping this repository as public publish repository so the repository is in github now let me go to the remote repository right click view on github so i have this sample project and i can see the node underscore modules is gone so this is scenario number one where you created your local repository first and then you started developing what about the other scenario so this is the scenario I was talking about where the development started first in a particular folder and then we added it as a local repository. So I have a sample folder, sample project 2. I work on it. I develop some code. Then from GitHub desktop, I add this folder as local repository. Now inevitably what happens, the .git folder gets created and this particular folder gets tracked as a repository. So in this case, how things work, how to ignore the files, let us explore that. So I have already developed project sample project 2 and here this is a Java based project. I have some additional files and folders. This is one additional folder which is ID specific. I don't want to commit it. So I want to ignore this. This one is also another one target folder. So I only need this source and form.xml nothing else. As a first step to add that particular repository or project go to file add local repository go to that particular folder this is the project folder select folder this is not a repository so create a repository again click on create repository now the catch here is you cannot see any changes we have not made any changes 
so that the GitHub desktop can detect. Then how we can add the file or the folders we want to ignore. Now pay attention here. A typical way would be going to repository, clicking on repository settings and then select ignore files and then adding the files or folders we want to ignore. But there is a catch as all of these files and folders, whatever we have here, these are already tracked by GitHub desktop. Even if I add them in my ignore list under .git ignore, it is not going to work. Let me show you. So here again, I go to repository, repository settings under ignore files. I add slash target slash dot idea, save it. If I go to history, there is already an existing commit, right? So if I go back here and commit this create dot git ignore, that is fine. Commit to main, publish repository, make it public, publish repository. Let's view this on GitHub. So here you can see, although we added this to in the dot git ignore, but still target and idea, they're there. The reason being, when we added the project folder as a new repository, GitHub Desktop made an automatic initial commit and all the files of that particular project were made part of that commit. In this scenario, how to make it work? Let me show you. Same project I'll upload, but I'll ignore the .idea folder and the target folder. First, let me delete this repository so that I can show you the correct way. Now the project is deleted. Going back to my ID, I can go back to my folder rather. So here what I'll do, I'll delete whatever was additionally added. Let me delete this. Delete the .git folder also. And remove this from GitHub desktop. Now it's gone. Let me add the project again as repository. This is the folder. Create your repository, click on create repository button. So we are in the same place where we were earlier. What to do now? Now the option is there is one initial commit, right? Which added all of this. And although we modified the dot git ignore file, it did not work. Here what we can do, we can ignore the files from here. Like I can just undo this commit. So then what will happen? Every file would be in a different state. Let me click on undo. Now each and every file is new. Now I can easily do what I was doing in the first scenario. So here I have the idea folder and the target folder to ignore. So if I right click and I can select ignore folder. Now target is gone. Same for idea I can do right click ignore folder idea. The git ignore is now getting populated. Same thing I can do from here also. I can go to repository settings, ignore files, and I can modify it here also. So that is the second way. Or now as the dot git ignore file is there, the third way which we mentioned, right? I can edit it from the editor also. Anyways, so let me commit this. Commit to main, publish repository, keep it public. view on github now you can see i have the source file pom file those two folders dot idea and target those are ignored so in this lesson overall we explored the three ways to ignore files in github desktop and also explored two important scenarios particularly the second scenario may cause some confusion at least in my case it did so it is important to keep these points in mind while ignoring files in github desktop